unlimited. That's the word that defines Starship's potential. And at the heart of it all is the ever-evolving Raptor engine. For over a year, we've been waiting for Raptor 3. But now, SpaceX has already teased something even bigger. A next-gen upgrade we can call Raptor 4, hinting at the next leap forward. How powerful is it? What's new? And when will we see it fly? Let's dive in right here on Great SpaceX to find out. The development of the Raptor engine family is a direct reflection of the evolution and future ambition of Starship. Each new engine version not only boosts performance, but also marks a significant leap in SpaceX's long-term vision for interplanetary travel and beyond. For instance, the sleek black Raptor 3 that was unveiled last year serves as the mechanical heart of Starship version 3. This larger and more capable Starship variant, which will stand nearly 150 meters tall, is expected to debut in just a few months. However, it appears that the number 3 is not the final milestone for either the Raptor engine or the Starship system. Looking further ahead, SpaceX is already pointing toward a more powerful engine, what we can now call Raptor 4. Hints about this next-generation engine first emerged in an interview between Musk and Everyday Astronaut. During the conversation, Musk referenced a version of the engine capable of producing 330 tons of thrust. For context, Raptor 3 has been described as delivering around 280 tons of thrust, with potential variants reaching up to 300. A 330-ton version clearly represents something more advanced, indicating the introduction of a completely new engine generation. Later in the year, Musk mentioned Raptor 3 explicitly, confirming that it will surpass the 300-ton threshold. In his most recent presentation, Musk also referenced a future starship capable of carrying up to 300 tons of payload per flight. This marks a massive increase from the current Starship's capacity of around 200 tons, or slightly more with version 3. To lift such heavy payloads, a significantly more powerful engine like Raptor 4 would be essential. So why is the Raptor 4 so highly anticipated? First and foremost, it is the thrust. With a planned output of 330 tons, Raptor 4 will be approximately 17% stronger than the Raptor 3's 280 tons. Compared to Raptor 2, it is expected to deliver a staggering 43% more thrust. If SpaceX maintains the current Starship architecture, Super Heavy boosters equipped with Raptor 4 could generate up to 10,890 tons of liftoff thrust, more than triple the Saturn V's thrust. Even more impressively, future configurations suggest that Super Heavy could carry 35 engines, and the ship could hold 9 sea level engines plus 3 vacuum variants. This setup could push total liftoff thrust past 11,500 tons, while the ship itself would exceed 3,000 tons, nearly rivaling Saturn V's total lift capability and outperforming every current and historical launch system. In addition to sheer power, other performance metrics are also set to improve. In August, Musk stated that Raptor 3 and the Raptor 4 vacuum variant, which will feature an oversized nozzle, could reach a specific impulse of 380 seconds. Meanwhile, Raptor 3 is projected to hit a chamber pressure of 350 bar, already the highest of any operational engine. Raptor 4 could push this benchmark even higher. Another key advantage of Raptor 4 will be its simplicity. With Raptor 3, SpaceX has already made remarkable strides in reducing complexity by integrating or eliminating many small failure-prone parts. Raptor 4 is expected to continue this trend. A simplified design not only improves reliability, but also makes manufacturing faster and more cost-effective. These upgrades directly address many of the issues seen in Raptor 2, and aim to reduce the risk of engine failure during high-stress operations. Additionally, the cooling systems on Raptor 3 have been greatly improved, and Raptor 4 is expected to build upon that progress. These systems play a crucial role in protecting the engine from extreme heat and pressure, further enhancing its durability and performance. With each generation of Raptor, SpaceX moves closer to its ambitious goals, and Raptor 4 could be the engine that finally enables full-scale interplanetary missions. One of the most significant benefits of SpaceX's engine simplification efforts is the transformation of its manufacturing process. By eliminating flanges and bolts, which are prone to leaks and mechanical failures, SpaceX is moving forward with a more seamless construction approach that relies heavily on welding. 
Welding allows for stronger, leak-resistant joins and contributes to an overall increase in reliability. This advancement not only boosts structural integrity, but also plays a crucial role in reducing the complexity of the Raptor engine design. Additionally, removing many of the smaller, redundant systems significantly reduces the overall mass of each engine. Flanges, bolts, and similar components not only add weight, but also contribute to heat accumulation, which can impact engine performance. With greater reliability achieved through intelligent design choices, SpaceX has even been able to eliminate the traditional heat shield in Raptor 3. This level of engineering refinement was visible in a prototype shown by Elon Musk during a recent presentation. When examining the numbers, the improvements are striking. The original Raptor 1 engine weighed about 2 tons, that was reduced to 1.6 tons in Raptor 2. By the time Raptor 3 entered the picture, the weight dropped further to just 1.525 tons. This consistent reduction in mass, when applied across dozens of engines per rocket, results in a significantly lighter launch vehicle. Less weight means more efficiency, which is crucial for ambitious missions to the Moon and Mars. Simplification also leads to a massive increase in production speed. Raptor 1 took around 11 days to manufacture. That process was shortened to two days, and eventually just one day with Raptor 2. Given its cleaner and more efficient design, Raptor 3 is expected to push that timeline even further. While it may not have reached peak production rates just yet, signs of acceleration are already visible. As of May, the 20th Raptor 3 engine had already been spotted, less than a year after the debut of the first Raptor 3 in August. This rate will likely improve rapidly as production facilities ramp up. Supporting that progress, Musk has confirmed that Raptor 3 has completed more than 300 test firings, accumulating over 16,000 seconds of runtime at the McGregor testing facility. This momentum is critical to SpaceX's vision for a high-frequency Starship launch schedule. Simplified design directly reduces the need for post-flight refurbishment. The fewer parts there are, the fewer things can go wrong, which leads to faster turnaround times. This will be essential in enabling Starship to fulfill its promise of full reusability and high-flight cadence. Although the current refurbishment record is three flights with the Raptor V2-314 and the Raptor Pi engine, future versions are likely to exceed that as the technology matures. Another major outcome of this simplification is cost reduction. Operation and maintenance becomes less time-consuming and more efficient. The overall cost of production drops significantly. Current estimates place the cost of a Raptor engine between $1 and $2 million, already relatively low by aerospace standards. But with Raptor 3, costs could fall to as little as $600,000 or even $500,000 per engine. This level of affordability combined with high performance makes the Raptor family a standout in the industry. If Raptor 3 is any indication, Raptor 4 will raise the bar even higher and lower the cost even lower. Expectations include a fully integrated no-frills design, extreme reliability, continued weight reductions, rapid production capability, and minimal refurbishment. Every new version of the Raptor demonstrates how powerful the philosophy of simplification can be. As Musk often says, the best part is no part. This mindset does not just apply to engines or rockets, it permeates all of SpaceX's systems and operations. This forward-thinking approach is leaving competitors behind. Take Blue Origin's BE-4, for instance. While it also runs on methane and boasts 250 tons of thrust, slightly more than Raptor 2, its performance in other categories has not kept pace. The debut of Raptor 3 rendered that comparison outdated, and with the anticipated arrival of Raptor 4, the gap is only expected to widen further. Are you excited about the upcoming launch of Raptor 4? If you are, type 4 in the comment section to let us know. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on every step of SpaceX's incredible journey. So, if we are all eagerly anticipating what comes next, the biggest question now is when will the Raptor 4 engine finally make its debut? At the moment, Raptor 4 is still undergoing intensive production and testing. Its official launch is expected later this year. As for Raptor 4, the timeline is likely a few years further down the road, perhaps not until 2028 or beyond. 
This projection is not just a guess, but a logical estimation based on SpaceX's broader mission schedule and development goals. By 2028, SpaceX is expected to have completed its initial human landing missions under NASA's Artemis program. Following those landmark missions, the company will need a significantly more capable version of Starship. This upgraded system will be essential to transporting larger crews and heavier cargo, as SpaceX begins to focus on building a sustainable lunar base. That same time frame also aligns with Musk's vision for Mars exploration. According to Musk, this will be the period when SpaceX begins installing the first systems on the Martian surface following successful demonstration missions, proving Starship's ability to reach and land on the Red Planet. So while we wait for Raptor 4 to arrive, we can look forward to witnessing the remarkable performance of Raptor 3. This new version is scheduled to launch later this year, likely around the time SpaceX will attempt one of its most ambitious tasks yet. Catching both stages of Starship using the Mechazilla arms for the first time. Following that, the focus will shift toward building and testing the in-orbit refueling system, which is closely tied to the Starship V3 design. After refueling systems are in place, SpaceX will roll out its lunar variant of Starship to begin unmanned demonstration missions in preparation for future crewed lunar landings. The most historic of these missions will be Starship's return of humans to the moon, a moment that will mark over 50 years since humanity last walked on the lunar surface. Parallel to these lunar goals, SpaceX also has its eyes on Mars. In 2026, the company aims to conduct five Starship missions to the Red Planet. These missions will focus on demonstrating interplanetary transport capabilities, gather vital research for long-term colonization efforts. All of this shows that Raptor 3 plays a central role during a pivotal time in space exploration. While Raptor 4 will power Starship's more distant future, Raptor 3 is the critical bridge that will get us there. It represents the next leap forward, both technologically and operationally, for SpaceX and the aerospace industry as a whole. Raptor 4 paints an inspiring picture of what is coming. It symbolizes the era when Starship moves beyond testing and limited missions to full-scale deployment for building civilizations in orbit, on the moon, on Mars, and perhaps even further. The future Starship may look dramatically different from today's version. That future Starship may look dramatically different from today's version. It'll be bigger, more powerful, and driven by an engine that is even more efficient, simplified, and reliable. But before we reach that distant horizon, we're about to enter a highly active and transformative phase with Raptor 3. This version holds immense promise, and its debut is now just a few short months away. So the question is, are you ready to welcome the next generation of Raptor engines? This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.